Friday again, so you got me again. Um, firstly, uh, I'm not going to be here for the next two weeks because I'm in Edinburgh. I'm helping with the show up at the Fringe. Um, I'll be there from Friday the 13th, what a lucky day, um, to the 22nd, which is a Monday. Um, so yeah, if you see me, I'm not exactly hard to, you know, miss. Um, then yeah, come and say hi. That would be brilliant. Um, so if any of you are up there, um, come and see the show that I'm helping with. I'm not in it. I'm teching and doing other such useful things. Stuff I've not done before, but it'll be great. Um, I'll post a link to the show actually, um, and you can have a look. It's Feminist Queer Burlesque Collective. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so say hi. Come see the show. Catch me after it. Stop me if you see me flying or if you're there love to meet people and I'm gonna be on my own um so yeah um but yeah so you'll be missing me for two Fridays but there will be a report considering I'm going up with some feminist queer types I think it'll be quite fun um so yes on this week's topic asexuality and the LGBTQ there's a lot of letters in that now um but yes I figured um I'd go to the one, well, the group I have most contact with, which is on another forum to this, the XKCD forums from the website. They've got some really lovely safe space on there. Um, and I asked for some opinions because I thought I may as well bring some outside ones. So, yeah, here's what I got, and this might be interesting. Of Zoha, who is one of the older members and helps to run and be an instructor of an LGBT group, thinks that. It doesn't exactly belong with the other LGBT spectrum because it's non-sexual. However, on the other hand, trans isn't about sexuality either, and it has exactly its place there. And while I think the category isn't necessarily 100% correct, I think we all need as many friends as we can, and I don't see any problems with helping out the asexual community. I think it makes sense to include it in Pride events for two main reasons. First, we have straight people, so why should we not allow asexuals? Second, it's another available lifestyle and people need to know it exists and it's legitimate. Not as a choice, but as a reinforcement that you are okay and you're not weird. Um, he says he's an instructor at an LGBT group and they had a young asexual girl come explain a bit about it to the kids and it was a fascinating talk and the kids enjoyed it. So yeah, positives from that. Um, Phoenix Dupree's. I'm probably saying, oh, your username's wrong if you're watching this. I'm really sorry. Um, I think it should be included. Actually, I think anything that isn't heterosexuality should be included. And then, you know, she thinks maybe we've got a vowel, we can maybe make it into a word. I'm really not sure how many letters are in that anymore. Um, and then, she's never been, I'm presuming it's a she, I'm probably really wrong, sorry. Um, and I've never taken part in an LGBT group before, except the thread I was on. She can't re really recall much about it. Um, very spirit. I'm reading these off my handy notepad. Um, definitely thinks asexuality should be included. I see LGBT groups slowly widening what they cover until they simply become groups for alternative sexualities. The main purpose of these groups is to teach people to be comfortable with who they are. Asexual people are no different, and it should also be included in Pride events. Um, I'm gonna say this one wrong, I'm sorry. Espirite? Possibly? Um, I think that LGBT groups should encompass everybody, asexuals included. Really, anyone who wants to join in the cause should be included, and the only reason I don't think hetero cisgendered should be included is because they aren't facing discrimination, or they can join and be allies. Allies? I can't talk tonight, I'm sorry. Asexuality is just another flavour in the great big ice cream store of sexuality and gender. I like this word. And as for poxic, yes, since we're alternate, uh, poxic's ace as well, um, yes, since we're alternatively sexual, one could say. Um, in Vancouver, there are asexuals who participate in the Pride Parade and other aspects of formal LGBT organisation. Um, though I've only ever in really encountered it online, the sites dedicated to the community, or in the forum that we're on. Um, so yes, there are opinions from people outside. Myself, I think because the LGBTQ spectrum is so wide, it's no longer mm -hmm. just about sexuality. I um, mean, you've got genderqueer, trans, and a lot of other alternative lifestyles in a way, um, but it's a gender as well, so it can't really now just be pinned down to one thing. And I think 
you know, the amount of homo romantic people, or pan romantic or whatever people we have in the community also benefits from the links as well. And it's nice to have people who are going to possibly be more open to it. Um, on that note, with the people I'm going up to the fringe with, um, one of the girls who I think is going identifies this as well as me, which is really funny because I met her technically before I knew the term that well. Um, and, you know, they're all completely accepting of it and they're an LGBT, and even though their show is, well, it's burlesque, it has, you know, sexual elements in a way and they have songs about S&M. So, yeah, just a warning if you come and see them. Um, but at the same time, they too think it's, you know, fits in with that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's it from me. These videos are going to get so much better in about three weeks' time when I go back to uni because I don't have to try and avoid there being people in the room. Um, so yes, I will see you in maybe two weeks, I think it's two weeks, possibly two and a half, with a report from Edinburgh, as long as my camera doesn't break. Um, and yes, please, if you're there, come and say hi. It would make my day. It would be awesome. So yes, that's it from me. Bye.